Reverend Father Mbaka raised alarm as adoration ground in Enogo is set ablaze. Reverend Mbaka Adoration Ministry Building, popularly known as Adoration Ground, has been set ablaze by rampaging youth who have been alleging to be IPOP members acting on the instruction of Unam the Kano, the IPOP leader who is currently not within the country. A Twitter user called Kano a demanded personality for giving out such instructions. For the Nigerian nation has been going serious protest by the youth against police brutality, especially the SARS horrible and wicked act against Nigerian youths, which has led to the deaths of many for some years now. The protest tagged and SARS has been peacefully on for the last two weeks, during which the government had banned the SARS units of the Nigerian police as demanded by the protesting youths. But the youths, not sure of the government's seriousness, demanded that the government, by taking all those who participated in SARS for psychiatric examination, those involved in extrajudicial killings to be tried and justice prevailed, and also that compensation be paid to the families of the victims of SARS brutality. As simple as these demands are, the government then he began mobilizing talks to go to wherever these protesters were gathered to disrupt it. From Abuja to Oshun State, then Benin in Edo State and even Lagos, talks were seen being shielded by the police to go carry out that disruptive activities against the peaceful protesters. When this was not yielding the result of stopping the protest, the government, though have seemingly denied, on Tuesday ordered the military to invade the Lekki Gate ground of the peaceful protesters in Lagos, where many people were wounded and severally killed by the soldiers gunshots at the protesters. That is today referred to as the Lekki Massacre and Black Tuesday. The circumstances within which this massacre occurred angered many Nigerian youth across the country, some of who were not part of the initial protest as condemnation kept rolling in. The police station in area where police had been so brutal towards the people were being set ablaze in many states added to these houses belonging to politicians, especially in Lagos, we have been burned down in and Lagos government warehouses where the COVID-19 palliative were locked up, were broken into and they were looted by the public. The order of Lagos palaces was not left out of this attack. Also in Enugu, it was not a direct matter of NSAS protest, but the heart of NSAS protest made Nabekano from his residence abroad to instruct his IPOP followers to burn down some selected places in the southeast of the country. The outcome of this is what affected the Mbaka Adoration Ministry. Actually, Reverend Mbaka got himself into a controversial standing with Nigerians when he he, in 2015, campaigned for Buari and said that Good Luck Jonathan was a plague and a problem of Nigeria, even when Nigerian problem existed before he was born. Although his campaign called Buari had no significant effect on the outcome of the 2015 election, as Jonathan won every state in the southeast, he however made himself an object of hate recently while receiving Ganduji, the governor of Kano, at the adoration ground. Mbaka lamented about how the president Buari has forgotten him despite having made himself an enemy of the people by campaigning for him. Truly, Buari has severely excluded the southeastern people from occupying sensitive position in his government, just as he has 
excluded every other regime except those regions within his domain, a practice that has made many to call him an ethnic bigot. And Buari has also designated IPOP as a Boko People Movement, thereby making IPOP a prohibited group in Nigeria. So, the reason behind burning a worship center as the adoration ground is still a mystery. Even though Mbaka had campaigned for Buari, it is his choice to do so, to which he has the constitutional right to exercise. The government should therefore do due diligence to bring those involved in such destruction to book. Thank you for listening to this news. Wow. There is something I would like to correct here. There is something I would like to correct here. You see, this statement, the adoration ground was burnt by IPOP member. It's a complete lie from the pit of hell. It's a complete I will see that the writer never made his findings very well. It's not true. These IPOP members, we are only supporting, we are only supporting the protesters by even helping them to, to be protected from this attack that they recently got from the soldiers. They are only supporting them to make sure that their voice are properly heard. The instruction Martin Amdekanu gave to them was to give a support and that is what they are seen doing. You know Nigerian government now, they don't even want to see anything concerning IPOP because they know that when it comes to protest, the IPOP are number one. The IPOP are number one. So that is why to get, to, to get themselves justified, to take away the, 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 this this uh, allegation away from their head, they have to take it on top of the place it on, on the IPOP members, which can never work because the world are watching and the world are aware of everything. IPOP is an unharmed group. They don't go out armed. They don't, they don't harm people. They don't hurt people. So it is a wrong statement and a very wrong research. So my viewers, with this broadcast I'm delivering to you, I'm telling you that that, that statement that IPOP attacked and said adoration ministry ablaze, it's a lie. They never did such. And I want to say that those that did this, this uh, did, that perpetrated this evil, evil should, will, will be held responsible. They have done they have done uh, something wrong and they should be held down. If they are not held down, God will hold them down. That is the truth. All right? So, um, my viewers, please, um, with all this that I've just been said, what is your take? Please deem it fit to leave your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.